Hello friends, happy Tuesday. Unusual Tuesday afternoon video. Um, and this is the second time I'm making it because it turns out when you buy a nifty new microphone, you have to remember to turn it on. Ah, lesson learned. So I'm making this video uh, for my, at, at the request, I suppose, of my buddy Luke Reisner, uh, who I think is still my friend. And he tagged me in a response that he had to Buckeye Piper's original video, talking about a collection of five tobacco that you would have under various circumstances. Now, I say I think Luke is still my friend because if you've watched me for any length of time, you know I don't really make many list videos. I, I don't know. I like watching them. I really do. But making them, I'm a boring guy. I really don't have the variety that, that a lot of folks have in their, in their rotation. So I'm going to do it because Luke asked me to do it, but you're probably not going to find this to be terribly, terribly interesting. So before I get started, I'm smoking uh, my Jason Mouton Billiard. Uh, this has Haunted Bookshop in it. And I might have to actually stop and refill because I started this when I started the first version of this video. All right, so there's five categories of tobaccos, and I'm just going to take each in turn, and I'll explain what they're supposed to be, and then I'll talk about my choice. So the first one is easy. It's your daily blend. You know, what do you, what do you want to smoke every day? No surprise, it's Haunted Bookshop. I mean, I, I've been smoking it for years. It's become the only thing I want to smoke. And when I'm smoking other blends, I'm thinking about how they're not Haunted Bookshop. Uh, I love the balance in that blend. I love the Perique. I love the way the Virginias and the Burleys work together so well. Uh, very Burley forward, which I appreciate in a blend, but there's plenty of red Virginia in there to give you that Virginia sweetness. It's just a fantastic. And I don't know why anybody would smoke anything else. But, you know, it's what keeps life interesting is that folks have different uh, opinions on such things. That's my daily smoke. And, you know, I, I smoke a lot during the day. So especially since I'm working at home now, um, I smoke somewhere between 8 and 12 bowls a day. And I would say, let's just say it's 8 for the sake of argument. I would say that during a typical day, Six of those are going to be Haunted Bookshop. So that's my daily smoke. The next category is an over-the-counter blend. Now, a few years ago, I would have probably said, more than a few, six or eight years ago, I would have probably said that this, these were the same, my daily blend and my OTC blend. And that would, of course, be Carter Hall. So Carter Hall have loved it for years, um, smoke it pretty much every morning. Uh, many people have said this, but it goes great with coffee. It's just a wonderful, simple, easy blend. Uh, doesn't need a lot of care. You stuff it in the pipe, you light it up, and you're good to go. It's got great burly flavor. Uh, yeah, so Carter Hall definitely would be my over-the-counter. Now, the truth is... If you were to restrict me to oh it's the wrong side. If you were to restrict me to these two, I'd be a happy guy. I mean I could go months at a time with just those two months. You know, and you can see I, I have the tubs actually by the haunted bookshop by pound, you know, I usually buy two to three pounds at a time. And I'm supposed to jar some of that up for my seller, but very seldom does any actually make it into And I buy the, the Carter Hall by the tub. And if Carter Hall goes away, and there's been talk about that, the Walter Raleigh is a perfectly good uh, Burley that I that I could slot in there, and I'd be a happy guy. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's that's my daily and my OTC. Now my list is going to get a little crazy, and I'm going to depart from a lot of what the Buckeye Piper outlined. So Friday night blend. What he means by this is, you know, you've had a long week at work and you just want to sort of relax, recognize that it's Friday, the weekend's here, that sort of thing. 
um, you know, what blend are you going to break out for that occasion? Well, for me, it's going to be Haunted Bookshop. Um, I don't want to smoke other things. I, I would be disappointed if on Friday night I couldn't look at the bowl of Haunted Bookshop. Now, I do, I do pepper in other things. You know, it's not like I never smoke anything. You guys have seen me smoking this recently, that Bayou Morning Flake. Really great tobacco. Uh, plenty of Perique in this. I love it. And I've loved it for a long time. But if I smoke one bowl of this a day, I'm happy. You know, and that's that's why I said of the eight bowls, six of them are going to be hauled to bookshelf. I got one Carter Hall and one of something like this. Bio Morning Flake, um, J.M. Boswell's Private Stock, uh, the Jupiter Blend from Savinelli. These have all been recent uh, sort of additional things that I, that I, I sprinkle in during the day. But, you know, when Friday night comes, it's not like I'm thinking, oh boy, I'm finally going to smoke some by your morning. No, I'm thinking, oh boy, I get to have another bowl of haunted bookshelf. That's just the way I am. So I don't really have a Friday night blend. Next category, blends you smoke to impress your friends. Well, I don't smoke to impress my friends. I, I don't really have a good answer for this. Um, part of it is that I'm so intimidating that if I try to impress my friends, they run away. <clears throat> Part of it is that I don't have many friends, <laughs> and I don't smoke around many of them. But when I do, you know, if I go to a meetup, um, I'm typically taking a pouch of Haunted Bookshop and one tin of something to share. Um, and I share the Haunted Bookshop, but most people have had it or don't want it. Uh, you know, I try to pick a tin out of my cellar that's something unusual. I'll share that with the other guys. Uh, I may or may not enjoy it, but that's not the point. You know, the point is that sharing thing. But to impress them, I, I don't want to impress people. I, do, I want to meet people. I want to get to know them. I want to talk about stuff. I, I don't want to impress anybody. So I don't have a blend that I smoke. Now, I do have one blend that I smoke to annoy one friend, um, and that's uh, my buddy Steve. But we won't get into that because that's a completely different video. All right, the last category, and this is where the pipe purists are going to get mad at me. Special occasion blend. So I think what Buckeye Piper meant by this is, you know, your daughter's getting married, your son's graduating from college, uh, or your son's getting married and your daughter's graduating from college. You got a promotion at your 25th wedding anniversary. Uh, your dog completed training and, and now will sit on command. I don't know. Th those kinds of things. Yeah, maybe maybe holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year, maybe, maybe things like that. Um, so what's the blend that I break out for those? Well, you know, I've talked about holiday blends. I've not found one yet. That the only one that I've found that I really enjoy is I like Jermaine Plum Cake around Christmas, but it's hard to get and I don't smoke. Um... But that's not really what we're talking about. This is like any special occasion. And to be honest, when I think about that, I don't think of pipes. Um, that's my mind goes immediately to cigars. And I want I like to commemorate special occasions with cigars. Not even necessarily a special cigar, you know, whatever I got in my humidor. It's a special occasion for me to smoke a cigar because I do it so infrequently. I usually do it once a week now. And I'm happy with that, but when I do smoke it, I really enjoy it. And that's what I would do for a special occasion. So my special occasion tobacco is cigars. Sorry if that's uh, offending you pipe purists. So there you have it. That's that's my five. Um, I hope I didn't go so far off the list to uh, to make this an irrelevant exercise. But, you know, I enjoyed, I enjoyed talking about it. Uh, <clears throat> the last thing I have to do is I have to pick three more people to tag so that they can be it. And I don't know what happens if you don't, you know, like a chain letter, if you break the chain, you, but I'm going to, I'm going to nominate three folks. And if you would be willing, I would love to hear your thoughts on these five categories. So the first person I'm going to nominate is my buddy, Kilted Piper Steve. Steve, I hope that you will be able to take a few minutes to tell us about your thoughts on these five categories. My buddy, Armchair Piper. Ed, I 
I would love to get your input. I, I, I think it would be very interesting to hear how you think about this. And finally, my buddy, Chris, the rambling dilettante. Uh, Chris, I'd like to hear your input, but I basically just wanted to make you. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that uh, it's interesting. Uh, and and please don't don't do this to me anymore. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. I I enjoyed it. I don't like making these kinds of videos, but it was fun to put this together. And uh, I like I said, I love watching them. They, they can be a lot of fun. All right, folks. You all take care, and we'll talk again very soon. Bye now.